everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Oakfield Farm, episode number three now. Uh, we've, well off camera, I finished feeding the animals if you guys saw uh, episode number two, we were feeding the cows. Now we are heading down to our greenhouse area. So in the back of here, I have some uh, purchased manure. So we had to get this from a neighboring farm because we don't actually have any just yet. We've still not actually yet uh, bedded the cow pen with any straw just yet. So we need to do that at some point. Um, we only have square bales, and it's a round spreader, so we need to go ahead and somehow... Why is this not opening? There we go. Um, I thought it was closing again then. We need to somehow try and work out how we do it with a square bale. I could wedge it in there. Uh, we'll see if it works without breaking it. Um, but yeah, we're just heading down to our greenhouses right now. There's nothing in here just yet. This is literally the start of our operation. So we're going to go ahead and uh, see how much we can do with this uh, little bit of manure that we've got, basically. So... I'm going to start off doing one cabbage and one uh, tomato. Hopefully we can have one of each with this one trailer load that we have here. Now, what, can I tip it in or do I have to get a bucket? Hopefully I can tip it in. Uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to. No, no, we can. We can. So our two triangle. There we go. Get that in there. Right, that should do it. We still have a little bit left. We have about a quarter of a trailer left. So it looks like... Each one takes about three quarters of this trailer, so that's if the tomato one's the same size. I'm assuming it is. Let's see if we can reverse down here without jackknife or anything. So we need to go in at a bit of an angle. But how are you guys doing? Welcome back. So this is, like I said, episode number three. We're doing well so far. Um, if you guys are wondering where I've been for so long, uh, go back and watch episode number one of Oakfield Farm. Um, right. What's the trigger for this? No, that one's not working. Trigger seems to be slightly different on this. So what we're going to do is open up this. Uh, how do I change tip side? Tip side back. There we go. We're going to try and do. We'll be on our right, wouldn't it? Yep. Let's see if we can do it this way instead. So I'm really excited to be doing Oakfield Farm again. I know it's an FS17 map being converted by Auction David himself, but our Oakfield Farm was pretty short in uh, FS17, uh, so finally get to play it properly this time. Right. This one is not picking up on the trigger whatsoever, is it? This one does not want to work. Oh, there we go, we got it. Oh, two triangle. Get that tipped into there, so yeah, we're going to need a lot more manure. That's all we got for now. Um, we'll have to get some more off our neighbouring farm shortly. But we have got some water prepared in the bowels, that's what I'm going to do is pull this up here. Now a little question for you guys, where you guys can get involved. What should we do with the rest of this field here? We could just use it for grass, but I feel like this is a good spot to put some more stuff down. We could do some building down here. We've got the greenhouses up this side. I don't really want to place any more down. If there's anything you guys can think of that we could put down here, do let me know. I'm going to jump out real quick. We'll get these hoses disconnected here, and we'll get the trailer disconnected. And we'll head up and get our water bowser. Let's go ahead and reset the GoPro there. But like I said, how you guys doing? Uh, so yeah, do go back and watch episode number one. It, was, it might be been episode two. I can't remember which one I said where I've been. But uh, hopefully back for long term now. Basically in short terms, I wasn't well. Uh, there was also some of the family wasn't well. It, just, it all added up. And I just didn't have time for YouTube and all that malarkey. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this water bowser, if I remember where I put it. Alright, so we've got the water bowser. And it turns out you can actually fill up the water from this side. The trigger does overlap. So if you don't want to drive into the uh, the cow pen to give them water, you can do it from this side. So save us a little bit of time, not too much, but you know, every second helps not a lot. Um, damn, I missed my turning. Let's go this way. <laughs> Going a little too quick there. Alright, so one thing we don't have on the channel right now, let's just go ahead and break the immersion real quick, because I need to ask you guys to think about the channel. We only have one map going at the moment, which of course is this one, Oak Food Farm. Let me know in the comment section if there's any maps you guys want to see me play. It could be another British farm, it could be something different, if you can see something different. Um, I'm going to be doing a proper channel update video soon to tell you that I'm doing more than just farm sim now. Just to keep things fresh. I know we've technically always been doing that, but it's going to be a lot more other games as well. We're still going to be doing the farm sim, obviously, but... I'm going to go ahead and reverse into here. I love this tractor. Easy, my favourite, Massey Ferguson. Oh, no. It's very tail happy, this trailer. Right. Is it that going to be? Are we in the right place? I'm assuming the trigger's on the front, not where I've just backed up into. Let's try that again, shall we? Right. 
Stop. Right, let's try that again. See if we can get this trigger. There we go, we got it. Oh gosh, that was quick growth. So this is our tomatoes in here. So the other one must be the cabbages. Can we go in here that we heard on FS15? No. In FS15 you can go in these. Um, but anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and do our... our I think it's cabbages the other one then. Give it a little bit of water. We need to fill it up with manure, of course, but... Let's pull out first of all. Oh gosh! That was expensive. Yeah, the brakes on this thing aren't very good. I think I need to adjust my pedals a little bit. They're a little bit spongy. There we go. Let's go ahead and do that. See, there we go. There's cabbages in there. I don't think you can go with that one either. They're by the same person, so I assume not. Right, so we just want to do the rest of the water while we're here. Let's do our other cabbage one. Do you want to be easy for this? A three-point water bowser. I think I've seen one lying around in the mod site, so I might go see if I can get that. It'd be a lot easier than reversing down here, just to have one attached to the three-point. There we go, that's that full. But we should be able to get this last one just by driving past. Shouldn't have to do any uh, maneuvering here. Stop. There we go. It's not going to be enough, but we should do for now. Cool, so there we go, there is the start. So I think we don't need manure for that, actually. We literally just need water. We are going to get some manure in a second anyway, so we'll go ahead and get that from the neighbouring farm shortly. Right. Um, in fact, I'm going to leave this... I'll leave it here for now. Let's go ahead and jump out and get this disconnected. There's no hydraulic hoses or electronics or anything, which is weird, because this thing definitely has lights, but we'll try and ignore that. It's only a game. Right, let's jump up into here. Get the GoPro reset again. Cool. I think we're now good. We need to get a little bit more manure. I'll probably do that off camera. What we're going to do right now is I need to... If you guys remember episode number two, we... Well, we took the combine header up to the top. I've actually gone ahead off camera before we hit record and took the uh, harvester up there. So that should be working away if I've set it off. But we also need to bring the fence back. Because the fence has been off at seeding all night. Or drilling all night. I'm going to go ahead and park this here for now. Right, let's go see how the other boys are getting on. Right, so update from the harvester. He's actually full, so he needs uh, unloading. So we're going to go ahead and take the John Deere with our trailer, which is already conveniently waiting here from the last uh, video we did. I feel like the FOV is wrong in this tractor. I might adjust that in a second. Uh, let's back this up real quick. Should be about there, I reckon. Let's jump out. Get that hooked up. We need to do the hoses as well, which I've mapped out to X. There we go. I think that's everything. All right, I'm going to adjust the FOV real quick. Well, that's a little bit better. I only did it by 10 or might be 5. Whatever. I think the default is 65, so I've done it by 5. It just makes it a little bit better, in my opinion. It looked, I just felt like I was sitting on top of the dashboard. But anyway, we're only up on field number 2 currently, so it's literally just up here. We haven't got far to drive at all. Well, I should probably still put the beacon lights on just in case. This is a private road, but we do get tr public driving down here anyway as a shortcut. Let's need to come into here. So this is wheat in here, I believe. And there is our harvester. Cool, set down here. Right, now, I still haven't decided... I've recorded these three videos in WoW. I've recorded episode one and two yesterday, and then this one was obviously today. Uh, but none of them were uploaded, so I don't know if you guys have answered about the round bales or square bales. I've still not decided whether we're going to be making square bales or round bales. Currently, we have a square baler, but I could swap it out for a round baler. I haven't decided just yet. Oh, a little bit. I'm going to try and do that again. A little bit too close there. We're missing the uh, auger, the auger pipe completely. Don't look pretty away. There we go. It's a bit better. So whilst this is unloading, we'll probably go and get the fent. Yeah, we're just going to get the fent real quick. Don't drive off! Oh, no, you dingbat. Okay, we're not going to get the fent. I forgot to change the mode. Dang it. Right, okay, so we're just leaving the field now. Can we squeeze out of here? I remember this getting a little bit... This was a little bit tight to get into. Yeah, we're okay. Right. That blue truck means we have to go this way, I believe. I think it's this way. Still a little bit rusty with the area. Like I said, we didn't play this much in FS17, so this is kind of new to us, actually. 
love this. I'm so glad we finally got a fence. I don't use fence enough, I don't think. Um, why has he got random stuff on here? If it started to grow away, we definitely need to do some weeding. That's probably going to be a separate video because we need to do all of our fields. So it's going to be a bit of a time lapse here, that one. I think it's down here. Yes, it is. We need to go ahead and turn the, uh, open the gate a bit. Perfect. Gonna be tight or we're we gonna be alright here. Yes. We're in. That's field number two. That's where Billy Bob's currently harvesting. Right, okay, so we are now back in the yard. I cannot remember where we were storing this uh, drill. So we're gonna get rid of it just we still have some uh, drilling to do, but I need this tractor for something else right now. So we're gonna go ahead and find a little uh, temporary storage place for this. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll put it um We'll put it in here for now. I know this is where we went to get rid of our straw, but never mind. Right, drop that down. Let's get it. Detach hoses. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. Let's go ahead and disconnect them. Get that disconnected there. You sit right. It's all needs washing first of all. Right. Now we go ahead and reverse this one in. So yeah, um, like I said, we are doing quite a lot of animals on this Let's Play, so we're getting some sheep. Before we get the sheep in, I want to go ahead and mow the grass one time while we've got the chance, without the sheep getting in the way. Right, let's go ahead and lower that down. I don't think there's anything we need to disconnect here. Nope, we're good. Cool. This fed confuses me when I'm driving it, because I got the, um, the gear mod. Installed. I keep thinking we're in forward because on the dashboard it says forwards, but in actual fact we're in reverse and it still says forwards. That actually only changes when you reverse, which is strange. Anyway, we need this mower here. We only have the single mower on this farm for now. We might upgrade at some point. Oh, there we go. Let's get that hooked up. Get the PTO on, and that is it. We don't have any cables for this. Cool. Forwards. I need to make sure I come out wide here. Put a clip on mower. It's quite a big mower. It's not the smallest mower in the world, but uh, here's only the one. I forgot to get to our field. There it is. We need to go quickly out the yard for like a split second. Curveball into here. So yeah, this is our sheep field, of course. So we're going to be go ahead and mow this. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. I want that button. There we go. So yeah, we're trying to get one free mow out of this before we get them in here. I'm probably going to turn the beacon lights off. Right, so like I said, if you guys have watched the channel before, you know what's coming here. We do usually do a time lapse. I'm going to go ahead and stop talking rubbish. We'll get this unfolded. We'll do a little bit of mowing here, and I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Sit back, enjoy, and see you in a sec.
some ride These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Wave goodbye to your city life Say hello to the desert sky These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Right, Cody, so we have now finished mowing our sheep field. Um, we'll go ahead and get that folded away. If it'll go away. There we go. Uh, I do need to unload the combine one more time, so go ahead and do that. I didn't bother doing this bit down by the trough because it's a little bit bumpy down here. So I've just gone ahead and squared off the field there. We're going to get a wind road to this and uh, make it into a nice little uh, swath for us to collect. This Basically, this grass is going straight back into the sheep anyway, so we're going to keep it as food for them. Let's go ahead and get this turned off now. Get the handbrake on. I think we're good. Everything's safe. Let's go back into the John Deere, which is here. Get the handbrake off. In fact, we need to find out where he is first. Um, where's the mouse? He's all the way over there. Okay, we'll just do a quick little uh, U-turn here. But a uh, bit of a short video today, I think. Well, it depends how I edit it, but um, a bit of a short one today. We're just basically catching up on what we were doing, so... The start of any Let's Plays a bit like this, really. We're just trying to get out to the uh, out of the beginner state of the map. This is going very slow. Have we got the hoses connected? We do have the hoses connected. It's just going very slow. Um, so yeah, the start of every map like this to begin with, basically. We're just trying to go ahead and get the map into a state where we've got it set. It's not like the default, um, it's default field states where you start off with. So we've got a lot of wheat, it turns out. I want to go ahead and get that changed out for a more interesting crop. So we've got more variety. Let's go ahead and unload. Why are we going so slow? It's got our diff locks on here. That's a bit better. That's made a huge difference. I think we were slipping in the mud, which is strange because it's not wet or anything, but... Right, he's going to drive off when we go and unload, so we're going to go ahead and swing around so we're facing the right way. Okay, swing this around. Go and get your pipe out. Yes. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Like I said, a bit of a short one today. We're just basically trying to get the, the farm into a state where we've done it for ourselves. It's not the, like the starter fields. But thank you very much for joining me. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy, please have a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.